Lexus, he just one shot, I got a brand new Dre And she ain't let me fuck the other night, but today is a brand new day Got the show to fight his girl, cause I think I found him Jet Mondays are f***ing back This is not a drill, this is not a test, okay? I'm back, alright <laughs> I had some shit trying to take me out, bitch. You just don't know. But I'm still here and I'm still standing. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. No weapon formed against me will ever prosper. I'm in a new spot um, because shit happens. And when shit happens, you got to get the fuck. Um, this last month has been, okay, like I'm not even about to sit up here and lie. Um, I went through so much and I'm really seeing some of like my darkest 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 moments in this past month i didn't think i was gonna make it um y'all don't know what i've been through like some crazy shit, like crazy crazy shit i never would have expected to happen to me happened to me and uh, but i'm resilient blessed and highly favored you cannot interfere with the divine like you just can't <laughs> you can't the universe because that's a bad bitch anyway i appreciate everybody who was very patient with me and this video i really feel like there was a couple of you who could read in between the lines and could tell that something was really going on with me i just really appreciate y'all because when some shit really try to tear you down some shit really try to defeat you like that shit really be having you shook, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never expected any of this to happen. I choose not to give things that don't deserve my energy or my attention, my energy or attention. It's worth too much to give it to things that don't matter, that don't service me. Everything happens for a reason and uh, I'm content. I'm so happy and I can't wait for you guys to really see how happy I truly am. I can't wait for us to like, re-meet and for you guys to really see who I really am and really know Jayla like not not Jayla attached to anybody just Jayla being herself I do want to say thank you to everybody who knows that I have more sense than um to ever abandon my family you guys don't listen okay yes y'all are my little babies that don't listen no matter how many times I told y'all that I would never leave a man for a woman y'all just Take she shit and run with it. I can't even blame you though because I got got too. So I can't even blame you. There's a real life aspect of it. You have to be careful about like how much you let people into your life because life in real life be fucked up. Like life in real life be messed up. When you got the wrong people in your life, it be messed up. You just get so brainwashed and you just think that things are just supposed to be this way and like really they're they're not supposed to. To be that way. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that didn't assume things regardless of how things looked. And I know the way shit looks, it looks messed up, but everything is not what it seems. Like, it's crazy how the internet can just make you believe stuff. Like, the way things look, perception is crazy, y'all. Like, it's so, you'll see eventually, but like right now, I know it's hard for y'all to see. But yeah, I just really, really appreciate y'all who stayed down for me, who just loved me. Like, people don't understand. Like, you never know what somebody's going through. And I f with everybody that f with me. I love everybody that love me. So yeah, we're here. We're obviously in a new place. We're in a new mindset. We're in a new headspace. We're in a different energy. We feel better. We feel good. Like, I'm just so hopeful. Like, my outlook on life is just so much more like after you've been through some crazy shit and that shit didn't break you like you come out of that shit feeling invincible you hear me i am so grateful for y'all because i really feel like there was a couple of you who could read in between the lines and could tell that something was really going on with me i just really appreciate y'all because <laughs> y'all just i could clear up things but like i don't really care to because people are gonna assume what they want to assume i'm better than that and i just don't want to give certain things my energy or my attention and uh, when you have to protect yourself and guard your energy you have to literally block out things and block out people and um that goes along with revisiting or clearing up anything that happened whatever the happen is whatever the happened so anyway i would love to show you my apartment um but i think i'm gonna end up doing an apartment tour once it's done um i can see this apartment being done in like within the next two weeks i've been pretty i've been using this week this week that's this time that i've been having off like i when i was in the trenches and then the sun started to come out again and then like now i'm just kind of like regrouping and just reflecting anyway my girl put me on the order of groceries so my groceries are on the way and um yeah, I 
got new plates, new forks, new new straws, new everything. So I need to actually put all of this stuff up. I don't know who told me that I needed stone plates, but when I saw them, I was just like, bitch, these is not, I gotta have these. I said, okay, I said, okay, I'm just gonna have these. These are so cute and they're 100% dishwasher safe. I hope they microwave safe too, but I think, I think so, they should be microwave safe. Yeah, wow, that looks so aesthetic, I love it. The way I feel about 2020 now is like, this is not so bad. Like, I get to really know myself and learn myself and like, I get to love myself and not feel crazy for the things that I were, was feeling or the things that I was saying. I don't know if you guys peep, but like in a lot of my videos, I would say like, there's nothing wrong with me. And that was really just me trying to convince myself that there was nothing wrong with me because I genuinely thought that something was wrong with me. But that wasn't of my own. That wasn't, that had nothing to do with me or anything that I went through. That just was other things that, you know, that had nothing to do with me. Cause I genuinely love myself. And I'm not saying that I don't have my bullshit because everybody has their bullshit, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like something's wrong with you, you're not safe. Your spirit is not safe because it's just not safe. You should never feel, there's a million people in this world. There's somebody for everybody. Hold on, my grocery's here. Love this for me, guys. It's a bunch of bullshit, so don't look real hard. And I also bought stuff to make pasta salad with. I don't have any like spices. I don't even have salt and pepper, which is an issue. <laughs> I bought stuff to make pasta salad today because that's kind of what I've been craving. Something like fresh, something like, you know. And I bought vegetable noodles, vegetable rotini. I knew somebody that put cheese in their pasta salad one time, and I was like, no ma'am, cheese don't go on pasta salad. Snack cabinet goals. Okay, I know we eat like shit, y'all, but please don't judge, okay? But I wanted Jax to be able to come down here and get whatever snacks that he wanted, um, and snacks for school and everything, but like he doesn't eat this all day, okay? Um, I just enjoy organizational things and I just enjoy, enjoy aesthetically pleasing shit and this makes me, this helps me feel better. I just feel my whole Everything that I want is gonna happen. Everything that I, the people that are in my life right now are just so for me. I've never felt more comfortable to be myself. The universe is putting my people in my life that deserve to be there, that make me feel whole, that make me feel safe. So yeah, I just chose love, I chose light, I chose me. I chose myself, I chose my baby, I chose my family, I chose my goals, I chose my friends, I chose everything that, that serves a purpose that has value to me. If you didn't know, metal straws. I just, I'm just learning a lot about myself and I'm just learning a lot about life and I'm only 25 and I'm learning that like, society has made me like box myself into this like, just, these boundaries that I put on myself, like I have to have a certain kind of marriage, I have to be a certain kind of mom, I have to be a certain kind of woman, like, but really that's not true. You know, like this is my life and I would be so stupid to make myself miserable and put constraints on my life that like aren't realistic, like for me, because they don't make me happy. Like it's just so, under it's so important to have people in your corner that understand that like you have to grow and that you have to learn and that you have to experience life. There is no, I don't know how my life is gonna be. I don't know how it's gonna be like, I just can't see myself doing a lot of things that I used to do um, or accepting a lot of things that I used to accept. I just can't see myself, they don't make me happy. Like that doesn't make me happy. Being, in tr I'm not a traditional person. I don't have a traditional lifestyle. I don't have a traditional mind. So like, why would I try to put all these like traditional constraints on myself? Like, no. I don't know if you guys could tell, but for a long time, I was not okay. I am 139 pounds again. And I know that last time I was 139 pounds, everybody's like, oh, I have to watch you lose the weight. There's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. And this is how my body reacts to stress. My face breaks out. I lose weight. Like, it's just, I didn't know that this is how my body reacts to stress, but this is how it reacts to stress. And I know that y'all are like, well, girl, give me some of that stress. I'm like, for real, for real, like, honestly, it's not what you want. Like, I mean, I would, prefer, I would rather it be me lose weight than gain weight, but I would rather my body just react to stress like me just be stressed out, that's it, you know? 
<sighs> I gotta wash all the rat droppings out of this. Automatically what I think when I get a new something, I just be like, it's rat droppings on this. This is my first time using my stove. Ah! It's a chill day, it was raining for a little while. Um, I'm gonna get Jack's here in a minute. I forgot that when I ordered this, I ordered cheesecake. Like, I'm going through a transition right now. Like, I just want, like, I want you guys to understand, like, this is my safe space, okay? And in real life and on social media, you have to block out things and people that don't serve you a purpose. And, uh, um... It gets a lot deeper than that, but like you have to save yourself first. So I just want to let you guys know that this is my safe space. And if I don't want to talk about something, then I'm not going to talk about it because I don't have to talk about it. Everything that's done in the dark will come to light. Everything will come full circle. You guys will see everything eventually. You just got to stick around and wait a little while. Cause you just, but you'll see it for yourself. It's nothing. I don't have to do anything. You'll just see everything will just come full circle. Respectfully, I'm going to move on with my life. This is a Jayla Stan account. If you don't stand Jayla, you gotta get the f off of here, period.